Um, the agenda, I believe, uh, is, is pretty brief today. Um, we do have a, a quorum. Um, maybe we, Wes, uh, if you could do a little roll call for who is here, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Since you can see, I didn't want to appreciate it. So I'm just looking at everybody's name. So, uh, Nicholas, you're here. Scott Thompson. Uh, Scott is a, a city staff, so he's assisting us. He's with gotcha. the government channel. Okay. All right. Mary Abel. Here. Nicholas Polsonelli. Present. And uh, Patrick. Hi, Patrick. Hey, how's it going? Not bad. And that, uh, that constitutes quorum? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> and then um, I'm serving as the representative for the code office. So I'm Chris Nisley with uh, City of Athens. For David. For David Riggs. Yep. Okay. All right. So, Chris, my understanding is that there are no cases on our agenda um, and nothing's been added since uh, it's been posted, correct? That is correct. Yes. So, this, and this does meet our requirements that, you know, that we do need to meet once a year. Understanding. And, and we do have a few members that um, are going to be changing roles from what was previously on the board. Uh, so uh, the, probably then the first order of business is um, letting everyone aware that Mayor Abel will be moving up from an alternate to uh, a sitting um, member of the Housing uh, uh, Appeals Board. Uh, and then Patrick Doherty will be added as an alternate, as well as uh, Lindsay Swank, Malie. Correct. All right, Lindsay, um, did I say your um, last name correctly? No, you killed it. <laughs> it's Miley, think like Miley Cyrus. Miley, oh, I did not, all right, thank you. Sure. Okay. Uh, then we last, it, it's been a while since we've met it. It was actually back in 2019. I know it seems like yesterday for <laughs> some of us. <laughs> and that last order of business was, uh, basic, uh, basically voting on, uh, the rules that the housing board would follow. Uh, does anyone, um, uh, that's maybe aware of the rules have any, uh, changes that they propose? Um, I think in the meantime, we'll, share those rules with the new members uh, so that they understand what what our work here is for the city. None. Uh, we, we have not had any cases in the past in 2019 nor um, so far uh, looks like here in 2020 uh, that has come up. Um, so I think once you receive those rules, do look them over because the idea with our board is that if um, a complaint uh, or appeal is raised with the city, uh, that we could be called to order, uh, you know, within a, I think it's 10 days time or two weeks there uh, to uh, have, hold a hearing. So that's why it's important that we have uh, members in a position as well as alternates that if, if uh, members aren't available for a case. So, um, those are the, the main items there on the agenda. Is there anything else that uh, members wish to discuss or questions they may have? I, I thought, Nicholas, I could just uh, review. There aren't uh, a lot of uh, guidelines, but they are in the section of code that's 29.07.01. And it authorizes um, if there is an appeal to the board to the code office, then yes, we would meet. And it says that our, we need to follow the guidelines that no variance shall be granted by the board, which will cause a, a detriment to the public good, or substantially impair the intent and purpose of the code. 
And then there are three other conditions that they uh, say we should take into consideration if we're looking at an appeal, and that that would be that the variance would not unduly impair an adequate supply of light and air to the adjacent property. And then the other con second condition is that it would not unduly increase the danger of a fire or impair the public health, safety, or wel welfare. And then the last, the third condition is, is that it wouldn't duly, unduly increase congestion in the public street. They can unreasonably diminish or impair the health, safety, and welfare of the general public. So those are the basic guidelines. Um, and then as I understand, we, if we, there would be an, an appeal that uh, co-director Riggs would be there and that we need to put in writing what the vote would be once the appeal is heard and then to publish those results or make them available to the public um, and then file that with the code office. Thank you, uh, Chris, for going through that. Is it, our understanding is that, or at least mine, um, that the code director kind of makes the first uh, opinion there, and that we're basically the um, where if a plaintiff has an appeal to that opinion, it kind of goes back to our board first, correct? Correct. Yep. And to my knowledge, there haven't been any cases like this or appeals, but um, they did. Uh, we were reconstituted uh, last year because we wanted to make sure that if there would be something that will be that we would be in place and people would be assigned. And as Mary was noting earlier, people would be sworn in and <laughs> which we will have happen shortly. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, OK. Uh, are you in a um, position to do the swearing in, Chris? I, I not at this meeting. So. No. Okay. That's, Sorry. That's <laughs> but I will check with Lisa and uh, Elias and the law director and find out if I could, or then if not, then um, she's she's usually the person that would do that. Uh, I understand that it, we are serving two-year terms and we're kind of a staggered um, so that not all the terms expire at once. Um, we've, with Lindsay uh, joining as an alternate and Mary moving uh, up as a full member, does that, does their terms re reset or does Mary like kind of stay, um, you know, where, where she was at as an alternate? Chris, or should we be kind of uh, looking at that? We should be looking at that. I know that uh, Patty Whitmer just put the notice out. Oh boy, and I should be able to remember from my last, the last council meeting because we just did the uh, the appointments. Mm -hmm. um, hold on just a minute and see if I can code. Mary, do you remember on yours with, for how long you're appointed? Uh, no, let's say 19, okay. it would have been obviously as an alternate through 20, what, 21, I believe. Okay, Wait, hold on just a minute. I've got, I think I've got it here. Okay, Mary, uh, Mary's term would run through, uh, will run through 11 4 -22. Nicholas, you're through 11 4 -22 also. Patrick, you're filling uh, the earlier, uh, are you filling in the term that was Mary's when she was alternate? So yours would expire next year. And then um, Brian and Nicholas Posanelli and Wes. Uh, excuse me, Brian and Nick are serving till 23. And Wes, uh, you would then serve through 21. Mm -hmm. And um, we would, and they are three year terms. We did stagger, you're right. In the beginning, we staggered, Nick. Uh, Nick 
Uh, so we will have some renewals coming up next year then if people are willing. And what about Lindsay? And Lindsay would come in and she is beginning a new term. This is a vacancy that occurred. So that would be a three-year term. Okay. And what we will do is I believe we have one more meeting between uh, we have one more meeting next week and a, a council meeting that will be a regular session. And so we could uh, make that appointment, Lindsay, for you to serve as the alternate. And then that would complete our, our bank. Um, and if you could send to me just a, uh, uh, just a one line sentence of, you know, who you are and uh, just, just a very, very short bio, then we just do that typically when we uh, announce it. Thank you. Okay. I uh, appreciate that, Chris. Uh, you're doing a great job serving in as the uh, co director, um, but also a great city council one. Uh, do you have any other items that you wanted to share with the board? Uh, the only other thing, I, I'm not sure, I'm looking at the guidelines because it does say appointing. Um, a chair and um, a chair and vice chair and then a secretary. And I know you all had been serving. So um, I would assume, I, well, I shouldn't assume. <laughs> I don't know if that's done yearly and perhaps we should go ahead and see if people might be, if other people would be interested in serving as chair and vice chair, or if you all would be willing to be renominated to continue in those positions. Well, let's, um, let's open it up to the group for discussion. Uh, does anyone have a feeling that they'd like to express? So we had a chair and what happened then is um, our previous member, was it Joe Krause, was vice chair, but then he left. And then Mary came in and filled that. So it sounds like it would be I think you're always best if you have a motion and you have it documented that you've selected a chair and, and a vice chair and a secretary. So um, that would be up to you all if you want to consider asking Nicholas if he'll consider running for chair again. <laughs> or if somebody else wants to. <laughs> Would anyone like to either a nominate um, one of the board? It's got to be a, a board member. Let's put it that way. Uh, sure. Either the, themselves, which is perfectly reasonable, or another member for the chairperson position. So Mary and Wes and, and Patrick and Nick, this is where you all have to step in. And or Nicholas, if you want to nominate yourself again, you can do that. You've done a wonderful job so far. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I, I'll nominate uh, Nicholas. I mean, I think so far it's been working pretty well. Second. Okay, so we've got a nomination from Nick Posanelli and a second from Wes to, uh, to have you serve as a uh, uh, chair. So... Um, well, any further discussion or uh, <laughs> anyone disagree with that? No, I'd be happy to vote, but I don't know if I can since I'm not right. officially on not the board. In yet. That's true. <laughs> you probably ought to err on the side of caution, Mary. Well, that's what I think. Okay. Yes. okay. So uh, if there aren't any other comments, you could probably call for the vote. Uh, sounds good. We'll close the floor for that discussion and... Uh, put it to a vote. All those in favor of uh, Nicholas Bittner and myself serving as chairperson for another year, say aye. 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 Any opposition? All right. I'm further discussion on that. All right. Motion passes. Uh, let's move on to the vice chair. Um, vice chair was, uh, is open, right, Chris? Correct. Okay. Um, even though Mary 
hasn't been um, yet a, a member uh, as so moved by city council, I would like to put forward a motion that when she does uh, become a full member, that she becomes the vice chair. Is second. there a, so, all right, okay. second. You got any, second from Nick Posanelli. okay. Right, any other discussion on that item or other nominations for vice chairs? All right, I'd like to uh, uh, put forward a motion to uh, name Mary Abel uh, Vice Chair of the Housing Board of Appeals. And we've got, or I'm sorry, uh, vote, not motion, I apologize. I'd like to take a vote for that. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, any opposition? All right, uh, any further discussion on the Vice Chair? Motion passes. Uh, congratulations, Mary. Look forward to serving with you here shortly. Thank you. All right. Uh, and then you've got the secretary position. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, which right. Wes has been serving and doing an admirable job. So. <laughs> <I'd>, <laughs> under very uh, extenuating circumstances as well. So I. I would like to put forward a motion that uh, Wes remains the secretary and serves for another year in that role. Second. Can I do that? <laughs> I, I, you know, I think it's preferable that you're the one seconding it, to be honest. <laughs> uh, you, I, I think it's acceptable. Uh, any, any other discussion or nominations for secretary? All right. Uh, I'd like to then take a vote uh, for Wesley Ratko serving as uh, secretary for another term. All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, aye. aye. Any opposition or opposed? Uh, any further discussion on the secretary position? Right. Uh, I say All those positions passes. run yearly, correct? The secretary, the chair, the vice chair. I think they do. Yes. Yeah. So well, and our if we don't meet um, again due to rule change or housing uh, appeal that is brought to our case, we would kind of do this um, same voting process here at our annual meeting next year. So we've got three passing motions for naming the positions for one more year. Um, any, any other discussion items that um, members have? Hey, I can't see who's on with us. Um, is there any members of the public that are participating in this? Uh, it says we have one attendee, but that is somebody calling in from a 440. Is that you, Nick? Nick uh, no, that's not me. No, okay. Not the other me. Right. <laughs> okay. So, and is there any, uh, and for the person who's phoning in on the 440 number, do you have any questions? Apparently not. It could be my phone. I'm not sure how this all works. It's only one of my, you know, third Zoom conversation. Okay. <laughs> okay. Great. All right. All right. Um, if there's not any uh, further discussion or questions, I'll put forward a motion to adjourn uh, today's or our annual. Uh, meetings. And do you have a second? Second. Okay. okay. All right. Any, um, before we put to a vote, any additional discussion? All right. Uh, I 
we'll go since I made it a, a motion. We'll go ahead and take a vote. Uh, all those in favor of adjournment, say aye. 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 All right, any any opposed? All right, meeting is now adjourned. Um,